everybody and welcome to the Ortonville Village Council, a special meeting for this evening, March 8th, 2021. And as a reminder, we're in compliance again with the Public Act 254 of 2020 and the MDHHS orders that is effective. Well, you know what, that changed. Uh, March was at the 5th, 2021. And the yeah. Village um, of Ortonville will continue to hold our electronic meetings via Zoom. And what I'd like to do first, please, is call the meeting to order at 7 o'clock p.m. And we'll follow that up with the Pledge of Allegiance. If we could please have Trustee Nyvelt lead us. I pledge allegiance, pledge allegiance to, the flag to the flag of the United, of the United States, States of America, of America yeah. and to the, to the Republic for which it stands, which it stands one nation, one, under, under God. God. Indivisible, indivisible with liberty, with liberty and, justice and justice for all. Thank you. Senek, we're ready for a roll call, please. Silas. Present. George. Present. Green. Present. Hayden. Here. Nyvelt. Here. Randazzo. Here. Bryce. Here. Thank you. And next up is the approval of the agenda, which is item number four. Trustee Hayden and make a motion to approve the agenda as presented. Support, Trustee Green. All right, we have a motion by Trustee Hayden supported by Trustee Green. Do we have any questions, comments, discussion? All right, Jenna, if you don't mind, please, a roll call. George? Yes. Green? Yes. Hayden? Yes. Nyvelt? Yes. Randazzo? Yes. Dylas? Yes. Bryce? Yes. Thank you. Motion carries 7 0. Our next item will be the public comments. And at this time, we're looking for public comments and agenda items only. And there will be no um, non agenda items as this is a special meeting. So if anybody has a comment on agenda items at this time, you're more than welcome to kind of raise your hand, um, go ahead and start talking, enter us anything in the chat, no pressure shall be. <laughs> I think she's it, right? <laughs> anything at all, anybody from the public. <laughs> All right, it looks like we don't have anything at this time. And we will then move on to our new business item A, which is the revised council meeting calendar. And you have received a council meeting calendar uh, requested to have two meetings per month for the next six months. You have received those dates. We're looking to see if we have a motion on that. Trustee Rand has a motion to approve the revised council meeting for 2021. Do we have a support? Support, okay. Trustee George. All right, we have motion on the table by Trustee Randazzo, supported by Trustee George. Do we have questions, comments, discussion? No. All right, Jenna, we're ready, please. Green? Yes. Hayden? Yes. Nyvelt? Yes. Randazzo? Yes. Dylas? No. George? Yes. Price? No. Thank you. That motion carries 5-2. Next up is item seven, which will begin with our unfinished business. And the first item is the TISIC purchase agreement. And you have received the purchase agreement um, at the last meeting. You've received the ordin a copy of the proposed ordinance. And um, what we're looking for is a motion on that at this time. Motion to approve, Trustee Randazzo, motion to approve the um, ordinance for the authorization for sale of village property to 30 South Street LLC. All right, do we have a support? Trustee George, support. 
Thank you. Motion by Trustee Rendazzo, supported by Trustee George. And uh, do we have comments, questions, discussion on the TISIC purchase property agreement? I'm sorry, the ordinance. We've already discussed the agreement. Um, Trustee Rendazzo, I just want to make sure, or I shouldn't say that. Let me rephrase that. Um, if I may ask, does everybody know why we had to do this ordinance in case it ever comes up again. And I'm sorry, I am sick today, so I apologize. Are you asking if people don't understand what the state law states or what are you asking? Well, ju just because of the situation with selling this property um, for the dollar amount that was stated, although, um, good intention was behind it. I don't think we should ever do this again. Not like this. Um, it's caused too much of a problem. So, so an, an ordinance is required of any sale of any property or any purchase of any property from or to the village. Yes. Yes. So it doesn't matter purchase price whatsoever. Um, that would be the purchase agreement discussion and not to say that that's not, you can reflect on that, but for the ordinance itself, we must have them. Oh yeah, you are right. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is Trustee Hayden. I think we, at the last meeting, made the decision to claim the property was uh, unbuildable or something so that we could go with the purchase yeah. agreement that they had presented. But we, uh, this is the second piece where we just need the ordinance to allow us to sell the property because we have to have the ordinance. Yeah, that's right. Thanks. Any other questions or comments? All right, are we ready for a vote on this? Jenna, please. Hayden? Yes. Nyvelt? Yes. Randazzo? Yes. Dylas? Yes. George? Yes. Green? Yes. Bryce? Yes. Thank you, that motion carries 7-0. And next up is the personnel policy update. And that was the um, revision on the update of the manager duties. Uh, tr Trustee Neville, I had just a couple of questions on the um, what was in our packet last time, the job description and the duties responsibilities. Um, on number five, um, it, it said acting as an ex officio member of all committees of the village council without a vote. So I wanted to um, make sure then when we did our rules and procedures that we knew that, that the village um, manager then is on every committee as a non-voting ex officio member. Um, some say he is on some, some say he isn't. And I'm not sure, for the fire department, Tanya, does, did the manager have a vote or, or not? Yes, that okay. is not our committee, so yes. Right. Okay, so then would this be correct then to have that he's on all committees, he or she would be on all committees of village council without a vote? Or should we reword that? Because if it's fire department, can they have the village manager vote? Yes, because it's not our committee. We are like basically a li liaison or a guest to their committee. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we um, put that in here or at least put that in our personnel policy. That's probably where maybe it should go. Just as a note that they're on it, but, but as a voting member. On, um, do you mean specifically the fire board? Yes, because isn't that the only one that um, does that? It would be anything else. So say if they were in a tri um, board with or, or even with the township. So there could be multiple boards or committees that they're involved in. But okay. that would be, like I said, that's not what that's not specifically ours. And without looking it up in the general um, law, it does state that they're an ex officio, but I don't know how it's worded. Okay. So we would have to look at that um, 
if we were going to change that in the personnel manual. Okay, which I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that's something we have, you know, at a, a, at a next meeting. Um, the other thing was, um, so are we going to look that up then and then and figure out how we need to word that? Just well, so we can do that. Just a reminder, this has already been reviewed, voted on and approved by council. So what their simple request was, was to update the manual because this is already an approved document. So if we'd like to go and change this document, we could then request to bring it back in front of council and change it. But this was already voted on and approved and it's an official document. We just oh. want, we, and that's why we only had it on consent agenda. We've already approved it. Now we're gonna add it to the manual. So everybody okay. needs to know that we do need to update that in our manuals. So that was kind of a procedural item, but if you wanna yeah. bring it back for concerns, then we'll pull it back out and we'll and we'll add it to an, a meeting and we'll have to you know address oh, the that, and that and that's why I had asked for that to be on it. So I thought that it was on there so we could bring up these changes. Okay. Um, Trustee Hayden. Uh, may I? Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, I, I think that this is basically the exact wording that was approved for our posting, and we just wanted to update the personnel policy description to match what we had posted. And uh, personally, I think it would be better to leave the personnel policy more um, worded more flexibly and not nail put too much unnecessary detail in that because well, we can things talk can about change. That at a different time. Yeah, I'm just saying is, well, thank you, Melanie. Uh, let me finish, please. Uh, I was just going to say that I think it's better to not put too much detail because then it becomes inflexible. And every time anything changes, we have to go back and change it again. So I would prefer that we agree, keep the wording that we agreed on already and just make our personnel policy update to match what we had already agreed on. Okay, Trustee Nyvelt. Um, and then I'll just finish because um, the reason I had requested that it was put on the agenda was so that I could bring these items up. Um, there was just a, a error, I'll let, um, just a word error, I'll let uh, Jenna know. And then the other thing that was left out um, was because we changed the rules and procedures, or, and I don't know if that's even approved yet, about the agenda, um, preparation of agenda, and nothing referred to that on this. So. Um, that's why I had requested it be put on just so I could bring those items up. So if I have to put it on again, I, I guess I will. Is that what you guys would like me to do? Ask for it to be put on again? Well, if we'd like to alter the item, that wasn't the, the, re the request was to add it to the personnel committee and that's what the agenda item was. So if the agenda item should be to alter or update the job duties, then we need to chain and add that agenda item. Okay, I will um, send something in for next meeting. Thank right. you. So the, the manager job duties, um, oops, I'm sorry, manager job duties review. Yeah, cool, All thank right. you. Trustee Perfect. Hayden, I would just ask if this is so urgent that it must be at the next meeting or can it be put to a meeting when we have um, get past some of the more urgent topics that we're facing possibly. Yeah, I, I would like it put on next meeting because um, the pay that I've had on has been pushed to the fifth meeting. So um, I'll do that through the office. And don't be so concerned with priorities when we haven't, we don't even have the village manager on here. Okay, so anybody else have comments, questions or discussion on this item? All right, next we'll move on to item C, which is council pay. Oh uh, yeah, Trustee Nival, this is something that um, I have been attempting since November, 2020, since I was uh, elected to council to um, have on the agenda. Um, in November, it was asked if we could wait. We had other pressing items, so we put it on December. December's meeting was, um, as we know, uh, moved in, in honor or in respect of, of Ron. And then we had a January 4th meeting um, where I made a motion and no one supported it, so we couldn't discuss it. But then um, other council members asked if they could do the numbers 
and consider felt what they felt appropriate for pay and that we would put it on the next meeting. So we did. <laughs> so January 25th, it was put on and postponed to the February meeting. Um, February 22nd, it was postponed again to the March meeting. So here we are. Um, why, I, you know, I understand that now that we are at the two meetings, so um, I was trying to get a flat pay rate based on what other areas um, have been doing. Um, that would have helped us uh, uh, lower the amount of the budget that's in there for council pay. Um, but now that we're at the two meetings, um, that really is a little too difficult to do anymore. And, and I know I don't have support from council to lower the rate of pay that we currently get, um, but I would like for at least consideration of possibly making our committees or committees and subcommittees um, at a flat rate of $25 for each meeting while we're having two um, regular village council meetings uh, temporarily. Did anyone have thoughts? Because I know I was asked to wait while everyone, you know, sharpened their pencils. So I'd like to hear what other people came up with. Trustee Hayden, um, one question. Hold on one oh, minute. Sorry, okay. If you don't mind, Trustee Green had, had her hand raised. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead, Kay. It's okay. Sorry, right, Mary. Um, I just wanted to bring up back, uh, well, I was on the council 12 years ago and, and 20 years back, somewhere in the middle, and I don't remember when exactly, we changed it to 55 because, you know, there, if you're really doing your job, if you're looking at, at each packet and you're spending the time that you need to spend on it, it's well worth $55. And back then we had two meetings a month and, you know, just regular meetings and special meetings, whatever, public hearings, whatever you want to say. Um, I, I just don't think, you know, things have gone up, not down. Uh, by the time you divide the amount of time spent on these packets, it, it, it's barely six, $7 an hour. What do you think of the subcommittee or committees at 25 though? I hadn't thought about it at all. Okay, that's what I just proposed. I'm just wondering. I haven't, I don't know. Back again, back when I was on council before, any meeting, it was $55. Mm -hmm. And then whatever it is for pres or the president, that's different, but. It's 75. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Larry, you, you were next. Thank you, Kay. I'm sorry, did I cut you okay. off, Kay? No, no, no. Okay. okay. <laughs> Yeah, my apologies, Kay. I, I missed your hand there. Sorry. That's all right, Larry. Um, yeah. What What does planning commission get per meeting? I believe we're thirty five. Oh, I thought it was forty five. Is it thirty five? Is it forty five? I know I, it's not thirty five. Okay. Uh, because <laughs> well, I don't remember. To be honest, I for my for myself, I feel that when I'm attending a planning commission meeting as a planning commissioner, I should only get the thirty five, like the rest of the planning commissioners get. And I would be okay with seeing a reduced rate for committees also. And I think that for it to be a committee, we need to have a definition of what constitutes an official committee mm -hmm. meeting so that Correct. we don't have people right. trying to take advantage of that too. Yes, right. it would have to be an approved meeting. Correct. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, 25 or 35, we could, either one is okay with me for committee meetings, but I'd like to hear from others. Mm -hmm. Anybody else thoughts? Anybody? And again, I guess I'm I'm wondering why why we're we're revisiting this and why you think the the committee meetings are any less important than a regular meeting. Oh, um, it's not it's not there le any less important. That that is not the and as you know, I mean, all day I've worked on this. I mean, this is, you can't have a full-time job and do, and do this. <laughs> this is, it's, it's nuts. I'm that's, that's my of, point. Yeah. Yes. It's not the, um, because the meetings were being so abused um, and at the meetings were set at uh, the budget was at 15,000. And, and that was, I, I gave all that in the packet mm -hmm. and I gave what the surrounding, there are communities that give an $800 flat fee. That's what you get for the year no matter what 
meeting you're in, how many meetings you're in, how many you attend, committee or regular, or, that's it. That's what you get. Mm-hmm. And, and it helps keep a balanced budget because you know that that's it. Um, well, we've always had a balanced a better, budget as far as I know. Me. Pardon? We've always had a balanced budget in the in the village, always. For the pay? No. For the budget. I mean, for, yes, for no, a balanced budget for the pay for council pay for that line item. No, we haven't. Um, and that was in the packet as well. How oh. much we've we gone over. Um, so did you get that information? I, I, I may have, I'm not, I don't have it at my fingertips here. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I think okay, well, last, I mean, last year we, uh, we increased, let's see, councils, we went over budget 4,735 last year. Um, hey, Melanie, year, but all of us were not on there then either. You know, right, now we're at all two of meetings. us ha- know what a meeting is. Yeah. We have now the we're sense to know what a meeting I know, but is. Now we're at two meetings, though. Okay. So, anyway, all right, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a motion that council um, trustees and council. So not all of us got a chance to speak while everybody yeah, else did. I looked at um, the, the, Tony, the, you're the, back. Did you have anything, Tony? I know I haven't had a chance to speak yet either. Right. Um, I, I, um, I didn't think about the, the, um, committee meetings i'd like to look at that too that's all and um i I think i have to say um i'm hearing two things of a a total pay at the end of the year versus the number of meetings and that's two different discussions um them having um past council i can't say them i was part of that having special meetings um and additional meetings and things like that uh, is a total different thing than the amount of pay that you receive. So if we choose to be mm-hmm. conscious of the amount of meetings that we have and productive at our meetings, then we can address that same budget a different way. Um, so I think we kind of have to decide how we're going to look at it, whether we're going to take a cut in pay or whether we're going to be very conscious of the meetings, either and or both. Um, but we're kind of going two separate ways with the same conversation. Yeah, no, I sent all that information, what the surrounding areas were getting. Um, and you did since November. So we've had plenty of time to review how we wanted to approach this budget. So I still would did. like to hear what Pat or Keith have to say. Right. I've heard a lot from one person. Too. Well, I, we've given them a chance and that's their choice if they choose or not to. I, I would, the uh, last time the topic came up, there was a discussion about uh, a, a flat rate, I guess, if you will, mm-hmm. I forget what the number was. It was like, thousand dollars for the trustees and fifteen hundred for the village manager or something like something to that effect um i guess that's what i was um in favor of pat um i'd like to think on a regular meeting i'm, I'm worth 55 for for regular meeting special or otherwise and uh, if there's an upper upper limit, uh, what Keith is saying, I would I would consider that. I guess that's what you're saying, basically, too, Melanie. Um, but, I didn't understand that. I'm sorry. If there's a what? Okay, in simple terms, I, I think I'm worth 55 hours of meeting, whether it's whether it's a regular meeting or a special meeting or two meetings a month or whatever. Yeah. And I'll I'll stop at that. All right. So anybody else have any like questions or thoughts or ideas on it that they um, thought of since everybody else discussed or anything? All right. So Melanie, I believe you were interested in making a motion. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, I make a motion that council trustees and council president be paid a rate of $25 for each approved committee and or subcommittee meeting. Do we have support? I would support it for purposes of discussion. <laughs> Which we already had. Which we already had. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I have no problem with that. I don't think I ever charged anything, but my reason is I'd be making money. I, in the last two years, I haven't charged any committees. So, yeah, I don't for most of my my time either, Pat. 
All right, so we have a motion on the table by Trustee Nyvelt, supported by Trustee George. Is there any further questions, um, comments, or discussions on that? That's just for the, the committee meetings, is that right? Yeah, the committee and subcommittees, because okay. now we have two layers, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, if you don't mind, then Jenna, I'll have you read it one more time, just because we did have a question on um, what it was, but in, in, let's double check the amounts too, if you don't mind. Uh, Jenna, will you please read that back before we vote, and then we'll vote. For council trustees and village president to be paid a rate of $25 for each approved committee meeting and subcommittee meeting. All right. Are we ready for a vote? All right, Jenna, please. Nyvelt? Yes. Randazzo? No. Dylas? No. George? Yes. Green? No. Hayden? Yes. Bryce? No. Thank you. That motion is a 3 4. That does not carry. Um, my other comment on the council pay, as we've kind of talked about a little bit, but um, didn't seem to get in, and I'm not stating that it will now, um, the rules of procedure, we all talked about the need to in, um, define what is a meeting, um, mm -hmm. what is an appropriate meeting, what is a payable meeting, things like that. Um, so I would like to mention that that's something that we need to address. And I wanted to make sure what the amounts are going to be, obviously, before we put into some type of policy. Um, but let's go ahead with the rules of procedure as it stands tonight. Obviously, anything can be added at any time. Um, work on that, and then we can address that. Um, what is a meeting? Um, how we define a meeting and things like that. So um, just kind of please collect your thoughts and get that together because we'd like to start creating that policy and, and have that done. Um, there is a lot of consistencies um, as we do payroll, a lot of questions. Um, we're all are kind of attending same meetings, but different pay rates and things like that are different recordings. Um, so we definitely want to make sure we're all on track because I, I know there's lots of questions that, that people ask on that on a constant basis. So, all righty. Anything else on that before we move on? All right. Thank you. Next up is the forest management plan. And that is, again, another continual continuation of a topic that we had before. And um, it's it should say discussion because that's what we've been continuing to do is discuss it. So my apologies for not keeping a consistent agenda item, but that's what it is, so. Trustee Nivell, I sent out my notes. I just wanted to make sure that everybody received those. Which notes from and on what day did you send them? It was from the, uh, I just sent them out probably well, when I got home, so around five-ish or something, on the grant and the conversation that I had with the um, Mike Smalligan. Well, since they only came to me an hour ago, I had I did not have any chance to review them before this meeting. Sorry. Yeah, and that's what I mean. You can't have a nine to five job and do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I have a nine to five job too, Melanie. I know, it's this, it's Actually, some days it goes from seven until six. So, so mm -hmm. let's stay on track. Um, yeah. Any discussion on the forest management plan conversation? Um, okay, well, Trustee Nairo, if you the notes, I just thought that would make this go quicker if um, you could have viewed those. Um, but I guess basically what, uh, and you can view them afterwards, um, th this particular grant really is not the correct grant if we wanted to look at a forestry management plan. Um, and, and how do I even start this? I, I put it all in words. So um, if we were to do this, the village, and most of the grants, um, the village has to pay for the forester to do this plan. And that ranges from a thousand to about 2000 for 40, the 48 acres. So that is not something the grant covers. And I know we'd ask Rick if it you know, was free. 
Um, and I think Rick thought the grant paid for it and it does not. The most we could possibly get would be $250 or $200 plus 50 cents an acre. So $224 towards this. And that would not be paid to the village. I mean, it, it wouldn't be paid to the office. It would be paid to the forester that we hired and they would deduct that off their bill to us. So um, after getting all the appropriate information for this, um, the only way we could do that grant that we were given outreach and education is if the school was involved, which adds another layer of approvals and government and um, to make it an outreach and education grant. Um, for it to be that. And the school would have to be in, involved and have to approve everything that we as council or planning commission approve. Um, they'd have to say yay, yay or nay to it. And I'm, I'm not a fan of, of that. Um, we can, as a village municipality, hire a forester at any time we wish to do a plan. If, if we wanna have a plan, and that plan can be informational for us as, as we're doing trails or whatever we're doing. And it wouldn't tie us down to the heavy restraints that the, the DNR would, would make us adhere to. And some of no. those that I, that I put in um, were that you know every three years we have to do audit. We have to do site reviews every five years, um, you know, apply to F applicable state and federal requirements and regulations. We have to do an outreach and education to nearby private land over, landowners and project the costs and type of matching funds and, and et cetera, if we do this grant, where if we just hire somebody, a forester to do it, we, we do not have to adhere to those stringent rules and regulations. So I do not think this grant is uh, appropriate, nor did, uh, Mr. Smalligan think it was an, uh, the right grant for what we're looking for. And more detail is in what I sent you guys. So I don't know if you want to wait till next time and discuss further or. So in a little more clarification on that, um, one way is the school can apply. Another way is the municipality can apply and we can prove our own outreach and education, which is quite possible with that grant. Um, more conversation and clarification with, with Mr. Smalligan, and that was the case. So that's something we can choose to do. Um, by having a letter from the school district saying that we are allowing them the property to use for their educational purposes is one way to meet that requirement. We don't have to have them apply, we can apply. Um, we can also have the um, people within our community that would do outreach to state that they're interested in what they would do for that. We have four people who would be interested in doing that. So we have ways to do the outreach um, and we've had those conversations. Whether yep. we want to have those requirements or not is another discussion. Um, whether we want to ensure that we're following the correct needs and, and, and best fit for this community, that's a discussion to have too. Right, but you wanna pay so $1,000 to get $200 in return to, to the forester. Excuse me, I see Kay's wanting to get a comment to in. Can we? <laughs> well, um, hold on okay? a second. Melanie asked a question. I would like to respond yeah. and then I would love to okay. share um, that. But yes, I do feel that that would be the case because they know what they're doing. We don't. And it's to ensure that things are done properly. But that's my personal opinion. So, Kay, you were going next. I was just trying to get clarification on that. It sound, it, that's what it sounded like to me. If we pay $1,000 mm -hmm. to get $200, that I, I, I hear what you're saying, but if we, um, you know, after talking with Rick, he would fit that bill. He would be able to guide us and, you know, we could maybe pay him a, a stipend or, or something decent, you know, but I see Larry's got his hand raised. Um, I'll wait my time. Go ahead, Kay. <laughs> I, I, I just, you know, I, I guess I'd want to think about it for a minute because if he could do it, I'm not sure why we'd want to pay $1,000 to get $200. Mm -hmm. That's and my have to, have to do the rules and regulations. And because right. that's what you're getting, right, is the support for that comes with that. Exactly. Right. Okay, thank you. Larry, did you have your hand raised? Uh, yes, I did. Um, 
Yeah, first, I was just going to um, respond to Kay. I know Rick has repeatedly said that he would feel it would be a conflict of interest for him to do any type of forest management plan for the village because of his position on planning commission. So I think that um, if Rick is not comfortable doing that, we should um, maybe get his recommendation for a different forester to use if we do it. Um, mm -hmm. I do think that it would be good to have a forestry plan, but I think that um, we should probably wait until we have the opportunity to research the grant situation further to determine exactly what grants might fit and what might help us out. And that might be a task maybe that we could hand off to the new village manager when we finally get one. Mm -hmm. True. All right. Who else? Thoughts, comments? <laughs> All right, so does it sound like the consensus is to continue the discussion, correct? You mean to, to look at it another date? Is that what you're saying? Yes, that, that's me. Right. Uh, from my perspective, I would say we put it on hold until we have uh, village management in place to be able to research it further. I don't want to keep taking up time every meeting yep. with this topic until we have uh, some more information that can be brought forward on it. Well, and would we Larry. like to consider a date? Because seeing that when a village manager begins, they have a lot of things on mm -hmm. their plate that they are going to continue to wrap up as well. Do you want a specific date to revisit it? Or do you want to just put it on there and it, and it goes along the line? Tony, you have Let me guess, Tony on that? Huh? <laughs> Go ahead, Tony. Um, I would say um, uh, 45 days from the date that we hire them or um, the first meeting thereafter. And what type of information are we looking for research to, to um, have researched? Sure, just the um, what grants we could get, like we've been saying, um, most cost effective type grants, things of that nature. And so we have that information, and I don't have it in front of me. Um, Mike Smulligan gave a list of three DNR grants that could possibly reach those requirements as well. Mm -hmm. So we do have that information. Um, I, I guess the the conversation is rather it sounds like rather we're choosing to specifically just have the plan drawn up or to look into a grant to support the plan. Is that, a, is that conversation continuing or, or have we decided as a group which route? Neither. Okay. Yeah, I guess that was my thought. We, we just, we wanna this get the best priority. information we can to make yeah. the best decision. And, and I gave uh, the village manager those three grants and all of the information with that. And I was told that, you know, you have to have money to get grants. And then when I brought that to council, I was told again, well, you have to have money. Um, you, you know, and I kind of got a little frustrated with hearing that. Um, and now here we are talking about those three grants that I submitted in November to uh, Dale, so. Um, yeah, I say we do nothing right now and wait till we get a village manager. I agree with Larry. Any other conversation on the 45 days? Um, just one thought from my side is that since the agenda is put together by president along with village manager, I would assume that village manager and president would be able to determine when it's ready to come back to council. And I would just trust them to do that. Well, and I was looking for a time frame. Are you talking a month, three months, six months, a year? That's why I'm just okay. dialoguing. Uh, then I'm good with a 45 day from after date of hire. That sounds good. Okay. Any other thoughts on the request? If it can't be done in that amount of time, we might have to extend it a little it bit. It won't be. <laughs> uh, well, but and, and this, it. But this is depends on who we hire. <laughs> this is just, that, exactly, and that was it's my It's just thought. to give us something to work towards yeah. it's, it's okay sure sure if it, that's so fine. 45 days um after hire or to the next meeting following that is that a motion oh yeah 
<laughs> we need a motion or just direction? A motion to postpone. Because it's an agenda item. Tony, would Mike you like to make that or no? Not really. So. <laughs> I'll make a motion to postpone the uh, forest management plan until uh, at least 45 days after the new village manager comes on board. Support. All right, let's see. Any questions, comments, discussion on the motion? All right, Jenna, please. Randazzo? Yes. Dylas? Yes. George? Yes. Green? Yes. Hayden? Yes. Nyvelt? Yes. Bryce? Yes. And that motion carries 7-0, thank you. Item E is our rules of procedure. And you have the most revised vision that was provided in your last packet. And yeah. we are, pardon? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just saying, yes, yes, yes. I, you know, talk to myself, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so we are ready to um, go down the list of the items that are left on there for discussion. So um, let's start at the beginning. The first item number one is proposed adding a new section for definitions and um, including written request. So let's, if you don't mind dialogue on that. Well, I must not have the right one then. Uh, yeah. I number one. It's, I, it's in, it was in our packet. Oh, I'm looking at the packet. Which packet? Uh, the, the, the newest one, one off the uh, press from Jenna. Okay. It's um. Mm. So hold on a minute. Am I on the last month's or the last meeting? Uh, da, 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 da. I'm on BC Packet yeah, 0308 2021.pdf. Uh, All right. What, what are you saying, Larry? <laughs> I, I'm on the electronic one that she sent out. Yes. Yeah, that's the one, the, yeah, the most and, current one. And like I said, I was too, and I popped, I might have popped up on the 22nd. All right. I still don't know if I have the right one then. I just kept putting it back in my packet, back in my packet, back in my packet. So, right. But this just yep. came in. Okay. Like, oh, when so, did it come in? Real current. Well, sometimes. I sent it out last week. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I apologize. I was on the 22nd. I, when I clicked the button, okay. it was back one. So it is still the first item on there. Yeah, that's what <laughs> uh, I regular see. Regular meetings. Um, no, item number it's one. It's on the very the first message. page in the table of contents. Oh, let me that's what confused me. I'm like, isn't that the first item? The okay. proposed adding a new section for definitions. That was on, on the, the first page. Okay, I don't have that on mine, but. Oh, down number one in the corner in the square. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes, I do. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all yes. right. I, yes, I agree with that. I think we're all together. Um, can we, I was going to say, do we have any dialogue on that? Is, are we all in agreement? Is there any questions? I think it's good. All right. I'm good with it. Sounds good. So the next step um, would be that we would then def, um, need to define which items need definitions does that is that a double indictment? there was two proposed in that number one written notice and written request and I, I initially proposed those two to start because I thought it would make it easier further down in the other sections mm -hmm. of rules of procedure right and I, so I I'm sure there's other ones too and we might find more definitions but those were two I thought might help out and you said or electronic format including but not limited to correct Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And are we good with those specific definitions and are those going in there? Anybody say no? All right. The only comment I have is a dot before the P and PDF. A dot. Okay. Yeah. And see, I don't have that of a dot before. No, it's. It, there, I it's think missing. she's saying to add a dot. It was missing. Oh, as she's saying add it. <laughs> I'm still thinking See, I think I'm working PDF is a format, one. portable document format. So hey. right. yeah, it's not PDF. All right. Any any problems with with anything else on that? We're good with number one. Ready to move on? 
Yep. All right, item number two is um, add with the exception of a closed meeting. Oh, take that off. All right, is that yeah. good? We're all taking that off? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Okay. So we'll strike number two. Item number three, the village president, the village manager together with consideration given to trustees request, shall prepare an agenda for each regular council meeting. New and unfinished business shall be prioritized in such a manner that list urgent items first while making all attempts to keep the meeting within the two hour time frame. And that's item I know number that's three. wordy. I didn't know we were supposed to like word it exactly how we wanted it. And I let Jenna know that. So I apologize. It's not worded like I, you know, how exactly, but you get the idea of what I'm saying, I would think. Well, I Go ahead, Kate. Okay, mm -hmm. please. I uh, agree with the last part, but I, after careful consideration, you know, and further review on it in the general law village uh, officials handbook in the MML, oh, I'm not there. Well, I am. Uh, it is definitely, absolutely the village president's position to, to do the agenda and to approve the agenda mm -hmm. uh, be, or not approve it as an emotion, but uh, to bring it to council. Uh, it's not up to the village manager and it's not up to anybody else. It's up to the village president. And, and our practice has not been that way. It's been, um, I, I called a couple past presidents and managers actually. Um, they said that generally the manager would have it ready and then they'd come in and meet because the manager does the day-to-day -day job there and knows what's going on. And then the president can absolutely change or say yes or no to, to something or add something. Um, but they have relied on the village manager keeping the status of what is happening in the village on a day-to-day. -day. Um, and that is the process that we do. Just keep in mind, we may yes. or may not have a manager and the president is the person that has assigned that information. And then you can delegate duties to the manager, which again is a procedural versus a preference. Right. The manager has always been involved and would not not be yeah. involved. So it, it, yeah. so it's why the could same we exact we thing. Keep it the way it is then, the way we stated it. Larry, please. Okay. Um, I think I fully agree with Kay because we basically there can only be one person with final authority on the agenda and that must be the village president uh, the village manager i i like the way we have things worded so far under agenda mm -hmm. preparation yes. shall be prepared by the village president with input from mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, i am okay with the second part of what was in melanie's suggestion about prioritizing items, but I think that we should say three hour time frame because that's what we officially have for our meetings is up to three hours. Well, that's true. Yeah. We hope we're going to get it down to two, but, <laughs> yes, Just but we, we should say we need to try to keep the agendas to be within the three hour time frame that we have allotted. Just keep in mind, um, some of these urgent items will be different for all seven of us, including the manager, that's eight people. So that is a, an open-ended, undefinable statement that you can't make because everybody has a different item that is urgent to them personally. If, if I could uh, further expound that a little bit is, uh, in my opinion, our community elected one person to be the chief executive of our community, and that's the village president. And the village president ultimately needs to be the one who decides what after taking in consideration input from people on what topics they think are urgent and the village manager's input on that, the village president would be the one to decide what the relative priorities of the items are and arrange the agenda accordingly, in my opinion. So these are all already done items on stated. Why are we restating what, what is done um, if that's the case? We I don't have anything in it before about prioritizing the items. And I think that it is important that the items get prioritized rather than just say, okay, here's the whole list of items. I think it is important to also take consider prioritization. Mm -hmm. So I'm okay with including a statement about prioritizing the items in, in our agenda preparation. Okay. 
-hmm. And that's how any agenda is created. If you were to do a proper agenda, it's yeah, it's kind of a given. Yeah. It should be a given, so but it doesn't always seem to happen in our meetings here. So again, yep. that's personal opinion as to what is a priority to each person. That's what I'm stating. So if that's what's done and, and you're concerned, it's not what's done. It's a different view on what's a priority. So th that's why I'm saying it's a redundancy that's put in there that's going to create more conflict than it is solve it. If, it, if it's redundant, it doesn't, does it hurt to have it in there with the prioritization? That's fine. Uh, that's my view, but I, I'd like to hear the others too. I guess I'm good with the way it's as written. Sentence one and two, correct? Uh, yeah. Okay. Tony, well, Pat? Or you mean what's written what? currently, not what not is not Melanie's yeah. night. Correct, what's currently written, yeah. Oh, I'm oh, okay. sorry. Okay. Thank you yeah, for by clarifying. By the village now. president with input from village manager and village council, that one? Yeah. That? Yep. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. I misunderstood you. Tony or Pat, any thoughts on number three? Yeah, I agree with what Keith's saying. Trustee George. I'm good. So do we, the consensus I'm hearing is to keep it, not to change three, is that correct? I'm good with keeping it as is. Yep, we'll keep it, although I, I did agree with you, Larry, with prioritizing, but we'll keep it as is. That's what's there now, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> what's the other what's is, what's is. All right, thank you. We've been over this so many times, you have to look every time just I'm, to make sure it says what I'm you think it does. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. All right, let's look at the next page at item number four. And looking to see the... Um, possible changes, and I won't read through everything as um, you've had a chance to read it already. And what is our thoughts on that? Um, I, I just think it goes into more detail. Who wrote this, Nibel? Uh, when it says, you know, you can, uh, packets can be available electronically, uh, documents on demand, a printed version, or you can pick it up at the village office. Maybe that's written somewhere else, but it's not in here. That wouldn't bother me to have that in there, just so everybody's clear. Uh, my first week here, I, when I was, you know, before, they always brought my packet to me. And it was like, you know, Friday night after five, I think it was after seven, really. And I'm going, where's my packet? And I thought, oh, my gosh. So I called Tanya and I said, I think I was supposed to pick up my packet. Nobody delivered it. So she went in and got it for me. But you wouldn't always know that. So I, I see that as a, just a clarification. The change uh, that's requested. Trustee Hayden, the one part I would not want to have in there is where it says copying village clerk. I don't think that it inquiries should automatically be copied to the village clerk in all cases. I would say they should go to the village manager and the village Am manager I can always forward on anything that's appropriate to the clerk or the treasurer or to any other staff member as needed. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Gosh. Say that real quick again, Larry, because I was trying to find, I thought the part below was a yeah. different number. Yeah, the part where it says, uh, I council I members shall direct all inquiries, yada, yada, yada. Uh, those policies are issues to the village manager. And I don't like the part immediately after that that says copying village clerk unless it is of a confidential nature. I would just leave out copying the village clerk altogether. And I would agree with that. Um, the village clerk does not get that information unless it is given to her as a request to complete that. Yeah. Um, task. No, I, I agree. I agree. Um, and the other thing to me while we're on that one um, is that the village manager will communicate those inquiries to all council members. Mm -hmm. We would have 500 emails rolling around. If somebody asks a question, they're the ones that would then get the answer. Um, say you ask, you know, what was line item number 24 of disbursements? We all don't need to know that. 
um, our, our email would be unindated 24 seven. We really have to streamline communications. What was your intent there, Melanie? Um, exactly which uh, the major, which sentence are we talking about? The village manager for transparency purposes will okay. communicate. We'll communicate these. Council. We'll All communicate council. these. Inquire. Okay, so the whole sentence can come out then. I told you I just I didn't write it exactly how I thought, and I, I told Jenna that you know I didn't. Okay. It wasn't specific because so, I thought we were going to discuss. So okay, so we'll take. I have no I'll problem with that. And the only other thing I see we talked about earlier um, on the first part: meetings packets will be available electronically. Documents on demand, no, it just electronically is, you know, documents on demand as well. We didn't want to use a specific name brand. Oh, um, so we can take that out well, too? Can we take out documents on demand online? Because electronically is online, correct? Yeah. Okay. okay, just to be sure. Yeah. Um, wasn't, brand. It wasn't um, electronic, wasn't that part of the definitions? Right, but we were striking the actual term documents on demand out and just making sure oh, it's made electronic. Oh, I got, you, I got you. Yeah, because I get, yeah. you know, I get, I think we all can go on uh, the the email and get our uh, packets too. So it, it just take out the names of them. There's different ways to get it mm -hmm. electronically. Yeah, right. So I agree. Take out documents on demand online mm -hmm. because yep. that's a tool, not right. A method. Right. Yeah, no, and tools can change. Yep. yep. I know we talked about that one a little earlier. Yeah. Yep. All right. Anything else in there? Are we good with the rest of it? I'm good. I'm okay with the rest of it. Jenna, um, are you clear? Oh, oh go ahead. Oh. So we are we adding <laughs> the part about printed version? <clears throat> yes. Okay. We're keeping that. Our, yes. Oh yes. Okay. Keeping that suggestion. Yes. And then are we keeping the Wednesday or village, no later than Wednesday or because I know then uh, Tanya you had down here village manager by 5 p.m. Tuesday. Was that also part? Was that um, your suggestion for that? Right. So if village count or if packets need to be given out on Wednesday, all supporting documents need to be to the office by Tuesday night. Right. It can be assembled on Wednesday. Yeah, I agree. OK, so we need to put that in there as well. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Tony kind of brought that up because I had mentioned um, that the information wasn't coming in order to be prepared for a meeting. And Tony had said, well, where does it state that? That's yeah, always yeah. been unstated and nobody's ever paid attention that it's not in there. So I appreciate That's funny. it. Tony mentioned yeah. it. And I'm like, it's in there. <laughs> no, it, well, it that will was be. that letter that you had sent to all <laughs> yeah. of us. And, yeah, I and that's to where say, Tony brought it up. I Well, I talked to Tony about it because um, we had no idea what you were talking about. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So it, it again, it's one of those unstated things that definitely needs to be as as Kay mentioned, you know, I'm not sure what to do unless I'm told it. Well, there you go. It's mm -hmm. always been unstated and nobody's caught that. So I appreciate it. <laughs> so if all of the items are in by Tuesday at five, then when Jenna comes into the office in the morning, she's able to get keep, it all done, get everything assembled. And and I know all of my items or the managers are done by Tuesday night as well, minus, you know, one or two items you're waiting on from other people. So so that's the goal to streamline it. OK. So that'll be added up there with that other information. If that's okay with everybody, yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else on that item number four? And five. And I was going to say, and five <laughs> added in there as well. Thank you. Number six, I need help though. I don't even know what, what um, pair. Yeah. I'm going to have to look. <laughs> um, that goes That's up me. to make every effort as a professional courtesy. Wait, wait, wait. What what, what number are we at? Number That's, six. It's, it's, yeah, but number Is six. Is it in number goes, six? It goes with number six? Attendance? No. That's the, the arrow actually goes up to. Well, I don't have an arrow. Uh, oh, I do because I wrote it in. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. We're all cheating off her paper. It Where goes, does it go? All right, the sentence that says, as a uh, professional courtesy. Okay, I see that. All right. It goes up in there. So, okay. Tanya, does it go after make every effort? I, I'm still trying to find, let's see, to indicate prior to the meeting. Mm -hmm. Under four second paragraph. I, okay, yep. Yeah. And then as a professional courtesy, that paragraph, I believe that that's to indicate effort. was supposed oh, to go after every effort. Prior. Prior to the meeting. 
to staff. To the meeting. Is that where you wanted that bad boy? I don't know. I'm looking. Uh, I'm trying <laughs> to find where to say to staff. I think Can it's. We, I think uh, we changed from to staff. Yeah. We changed that to village manager in the last yeah. iteration right. because we said everything should be going through village manager. Right. Right. Maybe. So that was probably a note from okay. an older version or iteration. Okay. So scratch that because my uh, yeah. The, on well, the other no. Page, prior to meeting is okay, but we no longer have staff. Good. We have to the village manager. Right. But I think it's okay to say prior. To, you know, effort indicate prior to the meeting to the right. Building. And that, that you're right. That's exactly what it was. And that's why it's not fitting because we did change it. Yeah. Okay. okay. So yeah. You still but want it that could still be said. I mean, we should make every effort to get it to the village manager prior to the meeting. Right. Yes. Well, so and it's the way okay I to explicitly it. state that, I think. And the way I'm looking at that is, you know, we are being prepared by the manager with everything by a certain date. We need to also give that same courtesy back. So they're prepared for the meeting. <laughs> When you ask questions at a meeting, mm -hmm. that was my thought. Okay. Works for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just want to make, I do arrows on mine to see where, <laughs> so I just want to make sure I was, I had the arrow in the right spot for that. It, so is that okay or no on number six? Have we agreed or yeah. not? I'm good with it. I'm good. good. It. So just, just for, to recap, just for clarification, under agenda distribution, the mm -hmm. first paragraph will be replaced with the changes in the top portion of, of the number four. Mm -hmm. first with, and then the middle paragraph gets, is adjusted with number six prior to the meeting adding. And then the third paragraph in there gets replaced with the bottom half of number four with the changes that we made. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So well, yep. you know what, Jenna's going when to be so nice out, to <laughs> the good copy, so we know what we what we agreed to. Yeah. yeah. So, Jenna, is that clear for you, or did you have any questions on four, five, and six? No, I think we're on the same page. Perfect. All right. So now we're on to number seven, correct? Right. We're, I don't want to move on if everybody's not ready. Okay. Number seven. Um, the suggestion is at the meeting, and you see our arrow is appropriate. Okay, and let me just see why I did that again. Okay, well, I didn't, um, and that can be in or out. I just didn't know if we should be told at the meeting. If, we if probably would notice it, that somebody wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Typically, but that usually, would happen during the roll call vote. Right, uh, right. You would say absent they, with notice. With and notice, with notice or without, know. right. And it could be, my interpretation of they'll in turn notify the balance of council could be if you know you've got two or three people out, you need to let council know to make sure there's a majority there. That's mm. my thought process. Okay, that's um, true too. You know, yeah. one person's out, okay, no big deal. But beyond mm -hmm. that, we, we might be concerned. If we don't have a quorum, yeah. So at oh. the meeting basically would restrict us and say, well, gee, can I inform them before the meeting or right, not? It, be too late. it says at the meeting and it might be better just to leave that out then. And just okay, let's so. scratch it. Scratch that bad boy right there. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. All right. All right. So then number eight, we are looking at again the arrows directed to where yeah, the, and that, yeah. Um report directly to I had the village office and our village president. In case we couldn't get a hold of you, can we call the office? But no, that's that was my thought. Doesn't matter if it's in or out, but that, that's letting them know if we have an emergency and can't come. Right. So I just thought, well, village office and or village president, just to give us two. I like that. Well, uh, then you've got it open, maybe the village president, if unavailable, the office. If you have it and or, then you've got people calling two, or which one do I call? Or Okay. Mm -hmm. However you would like to word that. I just yeah. wanted to be able to have an option in case <sighs> I can't get to you let it read as it does directly to the village council president if unavailable the village office right okay but it doesn't, subsequently. it doesn't say that okay no no i'm saying that's what it yeah, should say. she's proposing to reword right. it that way and I'm, okay beautiful yep is that I'm good okay are we in that. consensus uh, yep that's fine yeah yep. village office okay tell me if i'm Moving on, and you haven't have shared your thoughts. We're on number nine. Ooh. All closed meetings, uh, all closed meeting agenda items are considered confidential and shall be treated as such. I don't know if we should add that, that or not. But that seems a given, but I don't I know. I know it seems a given. 
How do okay, you guys well, feel about that? It's a state law, but it, yeah, it can is. Include it. Yes, it is, but it's uh, up to you guys. I don't see a problem with including it. I'm good with including it. All right, are we consensus? Yeah, it doesn't hurt to reinforce what should be common sense, but I know, right? Um, common sense is not all that common. <laughs> yes, I know. I don't know why they call it common sense. <laughs> all right, so like we're next on, we're looking at number 10. We're going to keep number nine, we're, we're going to add number nine, and we'll look at number 10. Where's that inserting, Melanie? I don't have an arrow on mine. I don't either. Um, I think it it's going to the second it is, Okay, yes, yeah, that number 10 is in under section D, you know, rules of, uh, or discussion and voting. You have rules of parliamentary procedure, second paragraph. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought that's in right. there. It's already in there. So I believe that this wasn't taken off. It was put in and it wasn't taken off, maybe? Was that what it looks like? I'm not. Uh, yeah, because it's sure. already there. It's it there. Is. So I, th I think it was put in and then the number 10 over here wasn't taken off That's in the box. So you're good with what it states now? Yes. It's yep. there. Yeah. All right. So, okay. Okay. Oh, wait. Right? What do you mean it's there? I don't. Are you saying word for word that's in box 10 is in the second paragraph? Yeah, second paragraph. Yeah, second. yeah the presiding officer shall decide you... all questions arising from this parliament. Yeah, the second Maybe. paragraph, second sentence, right? right. Because what yeah. I've got the presiding officer shall preserve order and decorum and may ask to speak to points of order. And then yes. the next sentence. Oh, yeah. there it is. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, it's there. All right. So number it's 11. Okay. We're right. looking at number 11, which is section F. Oh, that's wait, wait, 11. Yep. We just did 10, so section F yeah. would be 11. There it is. <laughs> um, Trustee Hayden, I don't agree with that one because I think that it should stay the way it is because I think that when we're trying to change our rules procedure, it should have some kind of advance notice prior to it being on an agenda. It should not be something that people can just pop up and say, hey, I want to add this change to our rules of procedure and as, a, as an agenda item to the meeting and then further down the meeting, just vote on a change without having any advance notice going out. Well, that's what um, it said, following proper agenda item procedures. Yes, but our agenda item procedure says council members can add items to the agenda at any time, which means at the start of a meeting. And okay. we've had people try to okay. use uh, changing the rules of procedure to try to get their way. And I think, no, we need to have it more formalized and we need to make sure that draft copy goes out prior to the meeting in the regular meeting packet uh, so that it's it's not something that we can just do on a whim. We need to have, yeah. yeah. No, so that's I, I, I don't think I would like to have that in there. And it's also not a living document. It's something that we have to vote on once. We can always amend it, but it's kind of like, I, I look at like when I'm in other communities with uh, or organizations where we have our, our um, uh, constitution and bylaws and things like that, where the, they, they have a process to change those things, but they're not just changed every time you feel like uh, something may have changed. It's something that you should firm up and then you have a formal process to go through to make changes to it. Right. That these if we all that's saw fine. something that was dramatically wrong, that we needed to change, I'm sure we would all be. Yeah, we have a process with the understanding that. of right. You know, how and the, and that. that's what I meant by the proper agenda, the uh, procedures. That's what I meant. I didn't. Mm -hmm. That's why I said I didn't type this. You know. Per, yeah. Okay. But that's what I meant by following proper. But we we don't have to put that in. We can take it out. I was just going to say. So again, is that a given, or is that something that we'd like to state? I would leave that out because it's, I don't like the living document part because living documents typically means that they are frequently changed. And I don't think this is a document that should be frequently changed. I think it right. should be infrequently changed and only when we feel that there's a real necessity to do so. And so what about the second half? Thoughts on that? 
can be yeah. amended by vote. We already know that's how you have to do it. So I don't know. We already have it stated in there. The council yeah. may alter or amend its rules at mm -hmm. any time by a vote right. of the majority of council. Yep. Yeah, we, after yeah. notice has been given of the proposed alteration or amendment. So are we in consensus that, that we do not need to add 11 or alter yeah. 11? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. All right. Look at number 12, please. Okay. Okay. Um, where does that go? Okay, I think that was. Okay. Oh, that's already in there, guys. Okay. Um, it was on the under committees, the first sentence, mm -hmm. and councils. We will be appointed by the village president and approved by the council. That's in there. Okay. This right. was another box that needed just to be xed out. Are you sure that that didn't apply to the special committees? Um, I thought. Because I'm looking at special committee says special committees may be established for a specific period of time by the village president or by oh, a resolution of the council. It could be, Maybe it and, yeah, and I think I put and approved by council to make it um, the same as our yeah, regular that's, committee. Yeah, that's what I thought yeah, I was that's, going to. Yeah, that's right why there. I'm wondering is, is if yeah. it's there, then I think that, yeah, that would be inappropriate. Yeah. Um, so so we, are, Larry. we are crossing out by a resolution of the council and making it approved by council. Is that correct? Uh, no, yeah. I think we can sit, no. still say or by a resolution of the council because right. council can make a motion and say we we move to form a subcommittee consisting of A, B, and C. Okay. And if we vote yes, or the president can say I want to form a subcommittee and have it be composed of A, B, and C, and then the council can approve that. So either way, you can recommend to form a committee and then it just has to be approved. That's so we're just adding and approved by council after village president. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Larry. Yeah, I was trying to make it like the other one and it was on the other page. So I thought yeah, that that's that's what I thought you were doing too. So that's yeah. what I was asking. So I'm all glad right, that number I did. 13, purpose and scope of the personnel committee. Now it's wordy, but it was just the idea of it. Okay, so don't kill the, I'm not a good with, I'm not good with making making it articulate on paper, I guess. I was yeah. just hoping you get the idea of what I was saying. Actually, I had asked for something like this before because I said personnel committee is too vague and, and we were left without much direction on how to handle certain topics that came up in the past. And I think this makes it much more clear the scope and our involvement in these things. So I'm, I'm good with number 13 the way it is. I'm good with 13. Me too. I'm good with it, but is the wording okay? I hope so. You're is the one it, who proposed it. Is the wording okay? <laughs> no. I, Larry and I agree with it. I don't yeah, I, 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 he I think said he agreed good. with it. So. I agreed with it. Okay. Oh, sorry, Johnny. It was so that's you. our consensus. We're good on 13? Yes. And that's replacing. That is for completely replacing yeah. not not adding to correct or altering we're just um, crossing out what we have and we're at and we're replacing correct um yes and then with that we have to make sure we put because right now we got three council members okay yes so but in this we have three trustees and village manager so yes that whole thing replaces Number five. It would be three council members and village manager, correct? Um, no, I, I put three trustees and the village manager. Most everything else, I believe, was trustee. Yeah, because uh, we just are to make inconsistent it with different. our... And a uh, verbiage. Yeah, we should have a village manager, a village president, a village trustee, a DPW, and a village staff. We are not using, we do council members and then we do trustees and we do village president. And they need, they are all separate. Okay. All right. So number 14, we're looking at the planning commission. I have a question to Melanie on that. And you have one. number 14, the first part at the top talks about planning commission, but then you have another whole section underneath there again about personnel committee. Since we approved 13, do we just 
um, yeah, that's on there. Leave 20. out the part but about it's the different. Time. Yeah, it's, it's different. different, and I like yeah. the thirteen better oh, than I know because 14. that was this thing I sent in, and then Jenna added it. Um, she added it because okay. it came in after this. Yeah. So. Okay. So are you yeah. okay with just we keep thirteen and we drop the part in fourteen well, that pertains to personnel? Let's talk to 14, about 14 for a minute, only because I know the human resources issue was something that you had brought up. Okay, hold on a minute. The first part of 14 is planning commission. Right, and the second no, let's is- get that oh, yeah. so, and then the, Well, hold we're on. We're skipping to the personnel. Let's put Ellen. number five of 14 up with 13 and continue that conversation before we move yes. on to planning commission. Okay. Okay. I agree. Yes, please. So go ahead. <laughs> So it's, no, it's, you guys just tell me what you think. I mean, it's, I know it's wordy. I was just trying to get my thoughts on there and that was done. Yes. After the other thing was done, because we've pushed this twice now. So I think why... your, your general law village um, book tells you what the personnel committee does. So we probably wouldn't really need all of that in there. Mm -hmm. I think that the, unless there's something I'm missing here, but mostly number 13 pretty much says it all. Okay. All right. I, I'm, that's my, just my thoughts. Yeah. No, no. I'm, I just Instead know of, that the, the human resource aspect had been left out, which Larry had mentioned that, um, you know, they would refer back to what they were supposed to be doing, but there was no mention of it. So I wanted to make sure it was covered appropriately. Yeah. I, I think it's covered adequately and 13, mm -hmm. I, I think do 14 too. gets a little bit too detailed. It's, for it's more thoughts care. instead yep. of uh, yeah. just, you know, any changes from 13. Uh, yeah. 13 well, yeah. that's what happens when you do this at 1, 2 a.m. Well, there you go. Your mind just goes. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, good. So this is no. So keep the 13 that we agreed for personnel then. Yes. Okay. And, and not number five at all. Yeah. Okay. okay. So then let's yeah. move on to the top half of 14, top half, okay. which is the planning commission. Yeah. Let's look at that part. Yep. I say, yes, I agree with that. That sounds right to me. <laughs> what don't we have? Let me find the planning commission. Um, um, we do not, on, on the planning commission also, we do not have, um, like the others, when we say, you know, one representative from. Well, that oh, from village town. manager and village council. Or yeah. do you want to say trustee? Trustee. I see that's not there. Right. And I swear to God, I did send something in on that, guys. Okay. Well, that's fine. That? Nobody's calling you on it. No, no, no. It, but it was on a sheet like this. Oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I know it. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay, so I put the planning commission is an appointed body with responsibilities of writing, planning, adoption, and implementation of the master plan and zoning ordinances. And then village board representation consists of one trustee and the village manager. So how come that is not on here? There it is. You know why? It's on number 17. I kid you not, guys. Oh yeah, okay. So further down. Okay. But well, let's first let's look at 14. Number 14. Yeah, let, let, top half of 14. 14. Did you want it to say, Melanie? I thought I heard you say village mm -hmm. manager and trustee. One trustee and the village manager, yes. All right, that we're still was in at the top of 14. That's where I'm looking. The planning the commission is also responsible for. So that would go under the paragraph, the planning commission and appointed body. You wanted that at the end of that paragraph. Is that correct? Oh, uh, let's see where it should go. Um, yeah, it, yes, it could go. Uh, it, it could even go as a, it could even Stand go alone. as a standalone paragraph mm -hmm. immediately after that one. I would think yeah. that would be a good place for it. Yeah, I take a new standalone paragraph after. Well, we have master plan zoning ordinances and you would have CIP altogether. Unless you want to separate zoning ordinances to its own as well. Well, master plan and zoning ordinances have a much, have a direct relationship. Okay. 
because the zoning ordinances are required to be updated to match the master plan when there's updates mm. to the master plan. But right. the CIP is something that's always an ongoing activity. So it is really kind of a separated a little bit from master plan and zoning. So I would be okay with a separate uh, new paragraph for that one. Okay. So where would you like it located? Immediately after the uh, one that talks about master plan and zoning. All right, so it would create its own third paragraph and we would move the third down to the fourth. Okay. Any issues with that? Any concerns, any other comments on that? So we got number 14, the top of going, and then number 17 going underneath it, is that? Well, we haven't got that. Okay, we haven't got that. We didn't get to 17 yet, Melanie. Mm -mm. We're getting there. All right. Is okay. there any other questions or comments on the top half of 14? Is that fine creating the new paragraph? Any any feedback at all? Yeah. No issue. Okay. So now we're moving on to number 15. Okay. And I think we already did that when we agreed to number 13, because that was in number 13 also. Right. Which committee? Yes, that uh, was for personnel. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so you want that to read three... Trustees and village trustees, managers. Yeah. Right. They all do yeah. say trustee. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Number 16. Okay. I don't know why these came up. All I, I, they, well, there are, I don't know why there's so many. I'm guys. okay with dropping 16. That was what I had proposed, but I think what we have in 13 covers it adequately. So yeah, I'm, I'm good I with agree. dropping 16. Yeah. Okay. And that's Larry. So you, okay. you have that choice. Right. Let's look at 17. 17 is planning commission. All right. So is that the one you would like under 14, correct? Maybe. <laughs> that's where planning commission is. Um, let's just make sure they're not being totally redundant here. They're not. I was okay. going to say that is redundant. Yeah. From yeah, it is. In conjunction with village manager and village council for capital improvement. But then this goes on with the writing, planning, adoption, and implementation. Are we, le what are we leaving in there then? Well, the planning commission, again, it, it states very clearly what their role is. So I don't think we need all of that in the rules and procedures. Which part? Like, I didn't think we needed the, you Where, know, this was due to ensure some degree of independence, blah, blah, blah. I, I didn't think we needed that. That's why I was rewriting the. Um, if I could I find it here. offer a thought here. Uh, number 17, the top yeah. part of it. Mm -hmm. um, I think that that is a much more compact way of stating what's in the first two paragraphs of the existing one. Yeah, because that's too So I would, I would prefer taking the top half of 17 and, re, and use that in place of the first two paragraphs of the Planning Commission. Yes. And then the, uh, uh, the 14, I wanted the, I added the capital improvement plan because I didn't have it in the top part of seven. Yes, so if, if we have consensus from other council members, then what I will, I'm proposing is to take the top part of 17, that will become the first paragraph under Ordinal Planning Commission, and then it would be followed by the top part of number 14 as a second, and then continue from that point. So 17, you're saying the top part only? No. The top At part only point. replaces the first two, two paragraphs, paragraphs okay. that we have. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I like that. I want to. I want to take yeah. a look at the last. Yeah. So if, if we're okay with that, if, yeah, uh, I didn't like how it heard. was originally written. Yeah. Well, I, I will say this: we had something shorter, similar to this, and after hashing it back and forth many times, they essentially just threw that out and basically copied and pasted out of the general law. Right. And okay. Okay. Which is Word for word. Are we in, yeah. are we good with seventeen, the first half? Yes. Correct? Yes. Yes. All right. What about the second half? Throw it out. <laughs> I right. agree. Leave as is what is already in the manual, right? Yes. For the second half. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Jenna, either. stop us at any point if we're confusing you because we're confusing ourselves. Okay. 
And then All right. number 14 was in. And we've got that as our third paragraph, which is now our second paragraph because we combined yeah. the first two. Yeah. So number 18 is Parks and Rec. Uh, Parks and Rec. Yeah, they think. Hold on. Here we are. Yeah, I agree with this one. Okay. Yeah, that really does make more sense, I think. It does. Um, if we're going to decide that the DPW supervisor is on that, first, we need to ask him. Second of all, we need to discuss that with the manager as to whether they feel the need to have him taken off of another project to be part of Parks and Rec. Um, I thought he already was, Tanya. That's not necessarily the case. If, if it involves things that he would work on, yes, and he chooses to, but mm -hmm. that's not, I mean, it would say staff and then they can decide between the manager and DPW, I would believe. Don't we request what we'd like from the village manager and he, you know, he, she would agree to utilize our staff. I, I guess I don't see a problem with having that, but I could be wrong. I, I don't know. I just, uh, to have him specifically involved in Parks and Rec without reviewing that, I, I don't know. That's not part of his job description. That's, that's not, we haven't requested that of him to see how that would fit in with his job duties. I, I hesitate to make that, that decision. I thought he was working on Crossman Park with us, and I know he's working on the ball fields. And yeah. now maybe not, you know, the, the wildlife preserve but uh at this point but that doesn't mean he couldn't or shouldn't right and our activities and events that happen in the village um yeah, things that also, also are involved. involved with parks and rec because if so then i know the dpw is also involved in coordinating on those events too yeah well but I it's guess. not the supervisor the manager may tell somebody else on dpw to do some of these items that's why i'm hesitating to go over the manager and, and include the DPW supervisor. But we tell I would the use the old, do, don't we? Uh, sorry, go ahead, Kay. No, I'm sorry, Mary. I said, we, we give instruction to the village manager. Uh, I would think if we said, listen, we would like him. It's not like we meet all the time. You know, I, I've had one meeting um, and, I, and I don't see it in the near future, but uh, you know, if he can't make a meeting, he can't make it. I get that, but I think he okay. should be included. Okay. Well, council's pleasure. All the rest say staff. They don't, there's no DPW on anything but streets. So that's up to you guys. I, I have a suggestion for yeah, change. DPW staff. Um, how about instead of just DPW supervisor, why don't we just add to that and say, and DPW supervisor or uh, a delegate. Okay, that's DPW fine. Delegate. DPW staff. That way, yeah, yeah, or a delegate uh, that works. designated, something like yeah. that. So, because that, that way, way he, he has if Bob option. says, you know, I got busy, but hey, um, Will, go and talk to these guys today and, and participate. All right, so is meeting. that consensus with everybody? We're looking at adding. Saying, I'm good with that. Staff or delegate? What are we saying, guys? And DPW staff. supervisor or his delegate. I would prefer DPW staff. It's consistent with the rest. We, okay, we, yeah, DPW he might, he might staff? send his friend over. Oh, you know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anybody so else? You're... Ideas, thoughts? We all good? Yep, I'm good. All right. So what's the final consensus? DPW staff? That is staff? our consensus. Yeah. Okay. DPW staff. or staff. So or number 19, streets committee. <laughs> oh. Oh, now was this before? Um, okay, so we do now have, well, a planning commission member. I don't, I don't know if we have it, but we had to make sure that that would be part of it as we're doing that. Let's see. And I think we said liaison instead of representative. That's right. Thank you. Yes. Uh, planning commission liaison or whatever, yes. liaison of the planning commission. Yes, I remember. I okay. remember talking about it, and I, I don't. That's what we did. Planning commission okay. liaison. Mm. So then, are you? So then, are you proposing DPW director and 
a planning commission liaison. And are we approving the liaison? Why wouldn't the planning commission just give I think somebody? That is, I, I think oh. that we would just say that is select by the planning commission. Yeah. I don't think the village has to approve the planning commission selection of their liaison. No. I don't think so. And that was not the intent. It was just to yeah. make sure that um, there was a spot okay. for and that there again, body. It's DT, DPW director, do we want to say, uh, or DPW staff? Well, no, he is he is responsible for streets. That is in okay. his job duties. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So are we looking at the new wording or the wording that's currently on there? Just so I know. Are we looking at 19? I'm looking at number 19. 19, what you wrote. Okay. Okay. Because the main thing that added is adding the planning commission representative, but we're calling it a planning commission liaison selected liaison. by the planning commission. Mm -hmm. I think we had DPW supervisor there at one time too, and that changed to director. Right, to director. director. Yeah. 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 All right. Any other thoughts on 19? Are we good with those changes? Good. Um, yeah. Okay. And then we have a, so we have it as a uh, trustee. We did. Okay. Yeah, that's that's their village manager. I'm just making sure nothing was. Changed. Oh, yeah, I did have one note about the word yeah. selected. Maybe we should use appointed by plan. Yeah, I like appointed. Yes, because it is. Yeah, OK, appointed. All right. Instead of the word group, use committee. Pardon me? Yes, committee consists of. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. good catch, Keith. And also that um, does not have the president on there. According to the general village law, the president is responsible for that as that's our biggest um, expense for capital improvement. So the president is on that committee. So that, that's like a law like the DDA? No, the I, think, I think it should be village president. I agree with that. Village president, one trustee, village manager, and DPW director. I want to hold on though. I want to hear where the law thing is. Though. Yeah. I I did not know that was the law. I like I know when Ken was on, he wasn't on this. Um I don't think I don't know if Wayne was or not. Yeah, Wayne wasn't either. No, yeah. it's and you don't have to attend the meetings. It's that's your responsibility. I don't attend, the manager attends, and then we discuss it. Um, let's see. Uh, it says something about responsible for all, I gotta find it, infrastructure and. Well, budget. you are responsible for everything, Tanya, <laughs> as president. Pretty much, yeah. The, the umbrella <laughs> kind of, mm -hmm. you, um, you have total, not total, but you have overseen. For all assets all. and of the, of the village. Yeah. Right. Like, I see, public safety, public works. So that's mm -hmm. all public works. That's where it was. I what, does it, what does it read? What does yeah. it read? Um, hold on a minute. Public safety. My book's out in the other room. Public works. Where am I at? Hold on. Yeah, we'll have your to hard copy and also electronic, but I don't have it open. Yeah. We'll, we'll have <laughs> to reference the, the actual you know, law like in DDA. Give me a minute. Oh. All right. And We'll continue to look at that while I'm doing that. Okay. Where'd it go? Appropriate action. Well, just just prove that done. And um, while you're looking that up, I was going to okay. say oh, I think ahead. that because of the important nature of the streets committee and the the significant size and cost of the projects there, I think it is fully appropriate for the village president to be part of that committee. Uh, da -da -da. Fire Chief Harbor Master, give me a minute. Um, all right. <clears throat> give me a minute. Let me continue to look that up well. Back here. Well, you look at, start reading over 20, please. This is tough because when things are so far separated from. Yeah. 
they're on the next page. It's not as easy. Okay. I, I know. I, but, but I think uh, I don't have a problem with it. And number 20? Mm -hmm. number 20 what I'm reading right original. now. <laughs> so um, the, this is where I had commented about I guess he is a voting member then, the village manager is a voting member of this particular committee. Whereas when, if he's on other things as the ex officio member, he is not a voting. It says ex officio member. Mm -hmm. That your would be the requested change, right? But that's not our committee to make that right. decision on. But that was why I had brought up the other subject because they needed this to be consistent. So, you're changing it from whom are voting oh. members to ex officio members. Well, no, the village manager, I guess, is a voting member. I did not know that at the time of. Oh, OK. So we need to state that he is a voting member because the way. We so in other it, words, we can then we can just leave the definition how it is, because the only change really is you have him as an ex officio member as opposed to. Voting members. Right. So it would well, I think we can leave a, it. We can leave it as is then. Where, where, what? I can't even find that on this thing anymore. That is well, on the previous one. page. Understanding under a number one is the Brandon Township Fire Authority Board. Yeah. And twenty is on the bottom of the second, the page after that. So that's where it's. Well, would somebody to read to me what it says? Right, who is on that board already? What does it say right now? That who's on it? it it's the one it. trustee and the village manager whom are voting members. And then we had in our, our other thing for uh, responsibilities that the village manager was an ex officio of all committees. But he's, yeah, but he's, that, that is separate. I mean, that is the fire board and it's their determination. Right. I just yeah. wanted to make yeah. sure we knew and, and, and wrote the one, the one thing's incorrect. Just know that he is a voting member of this one. Yes, gotcha. and that's that's the number way it's already stated. Mm -hmm. so right. Number one has already stated that he's that they're voting members. So I think correct. that we can, leave, the, them, we can leave it as is and drop one and responsibilities. Right? You guys had him in a, as an ex officio of our committees, not of other committees. So that is okay. correct. Yeah. Yep. So, so number twenty, 20 we we're not that. going to change. Correct. Well, let's see. What else did we change here? Oh. That was the only piece you changed in it now. Okay, perfect. Yeah. It, already, it says one um, trustee and the village manager. Right. Yes. So we okay. are good. That is minus 19. Yep. Yep. Okay. We yep. are completely done yep. with that. Jenna, oh my did gosh. You, Hallelujah. Did you have <laughs> any questions for us, Jenna, or clarifications on those edits? No, I don't well, think so. What should we do with 19? Are we going to wait and find out then so we don't spend more time? Should we? Um... I, I would be in favor of leaving the village president in the village president Oops, one ahead, trustee <laughs> well this is manager dpw a director i and think a that's a lot of people of i don't i mean if it's a law i say we you know we do it and we got to state the law um if it's not the law i i i think that i'm um, having a trustee a manager I, a dpw and a planning is enough four people are enough <clears throat> That's a well, lot of people. I, I, I opt to leave the village president in. Anybody else? In or out for village president? I say if oh. it is required, we leave it. And if it's not, we can remove it. Agreed. Yeah. Anybody else? Opinions, ideas, thoughts? Oh, okay. Now you're going to make me dig up my general I, and I, I'm trying to look, but it's not, <laughs> it, it, we can point blank. If it's required, we leave it. If not, we remove it. If that's the opinion of yeah. people, we're good. That sounds good. Yes, that's good. Yeah. That yeah. For, for expediency's sake. That's yeah. the council to decide if that's the route they'd like to go. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm yeah. good with it. Yep. Yeah. Anybody have a problem with that? No. Okay. Oh my <laughs> gosh, we got. Oh, we can vote. Or do we vote on it? What do we so, do? We wait till we get the final? Or yeah, what? let's get the Probably. final. I was going to say we're ready for a final draft, and that will be clarified as soon as I find my pen on our final draft. Actually, obviously, we'll email, but that will be clarified before our final draft. Okay. Hallelujah. Okay. Um, Jenna, thank you. And I'm so sorry, Jenna, but and thank you. 
problem. All right. So thank you very much. Um, we will go ahead and look at a final draft for that at our next meeting. And it will actually be to us before, obviously. If you have any questions before that time, please let us know. All right. Um, looks like we are on to F, which is wayfinding. All righty. And we will send that over to Melanie, please. Okay, these are the two final um, logos and taglines that um, when you, all of you did the survey and DDA planning, uh, this is what the results were. So we are looking to council um, to approve and vote tonight, if that is your pleasure, um, to choose one of these logos with the taglines. This is our last step in phase one. And then after this is chosen, um, I can bring information at the next meeting regarding phase two and what those steps are. Um, but this is the last step for the phase one to choose, select, approve the one of the two logos you have in front of you. I guess I don't have any logos in my packet. I don't either. Yeah, I think they were they in the previous packet. Yes, maybe I because guess this I got um, this got tabled again. Yes. Yeah. Well, what are they? I mean, what are the two? Information. I, don't, I wish we would get all the information again. Yeah. So because we do have to choose because I have got to let Matt uh, DDA know they have a deadline for ordering some things, so. Can you show us the, the two you're talking about? Uh, I don't know, is that coming backwards? No. Oh, it's fine. Okay. All right, it says uh, a hometown with heart, okay. And it's got the green and-, and Yep, um, and it has these colors. Uh, yep. And this okay. was um, before, prior, the mill had like starburst lines all around it. it oh yeah. Quite, it was quite big here and then this had a, shadow around it so we removed those lines and the shadow to make oh. it a little cleaner okay. All right. and the first good. one that's my boat <laughs> you want to think about it <laughs> no no i don't like those colors though i okay. like I like everything else. Isn't, isn't that one we said if they could do it in the mauve and the, uh, the green, we would like that. Was that number three originally? Oh gosh, um, I don't mind. know what number that was. These, these right. are truly the ones so that when the, the um, surveys came back that got That's the highest good. votes. I vote for the first one. I like the old, old fashioned one with the mill picture. Mm -hmm. um, the old fashioned one, the, you mean, one with the mill picture, yes, that okay. one. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Hey, hold on. Let me show you just this. And then there's this one. Number one. <laughs> okay, we'll have to do like a vote vote. Jenna has to do a real vote. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah. would yeah. you like to say the motion to be who is interested in choosing number one? Yes or no? Correct? Okay. Yes, that would mm -hmm. probably be the best way to do it. So, and is there any, um, just- Is that really considered number one? Is that how we should word it in our motion or no? Yeah, so this is now we concept should. one. Okay. This is concept one. It was, that's how, and okay. then this was okay. concept, this is concept two. All right, I, they, narrowed, I do, they narrowed it down to those two, all right. I have a question though. Is there a conflict of my voting since I was on the wayfinding committee? Yes. Okay, I don't so I, I don't no, think so. you are a representative. We send you to make those decisions for us. So you you still would vote. It's not a conflict of yeah. interest because mm -hmm. you are representing what we would choose to see on that committee. Okay, I just right. wanted to make sure so that we wouldn't have to do it again. Okay. To me, that's like saying you can't vote on planning. Right, mm -hmm. that's okay. exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I if it's going to, to benefit you personally, then maybe not, you know, but. I don't see how it could, but no, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, no. Who knows? 
All right. Okay. So should we, um, so this is concept one. So Jenna, um, so um, you want me to make a motion to, um, are we doing voting on concept one? And then we mm -hmm. do, is that what we'd like to do here? If, if that's what, that what you would like to see, somebody needs to make a motion that concept mm -hmm. one is what we accept as our logo. Okay, I'll, I'll try this okay. out. Uh, Trustee Hayden, I make a motion that we um, agree or approve concept one as our choice. Trustee Green, I support. I think we should have a little more detail. Concept one of what? Yes, and it's the hometown with heart is the tagline. <laughs> this would have been easier if we had them in the packets with us, but okay. And, um, and it wasn't in the last packet either. It's, yes, it's, it yes, they were. I'm I mean, in there. Well, right they were I, I back, looked in the last packet. It was not in, not there, in there. Unless okay. it got added this, as a supplemental. I nice have vote. sent it Let's to vote. Jenna. Just hold it still, Melanie, so we can read it. <laughs> Yeah, so so just hold it there, hold it, hold it up, hold it up, hold still. <laughs> I make a motion that we approve concept one with the tagline hometown with heart, the village of Hortonville, the established date in Michigan with the green and maroon color and, and the picture of and gold <laughs> picture of the old mill. I will still second that motion. Green. Sorry. I kind of was thinking in the like description as to concept of what for what, like wayfinding for our new logo for something along that lines is what I was thinking. We have no motion of what it's for. If there's no dis that we won't show discussion on our minutes, it'll show a motion. Yeah. Yes, um, but it has the agenda item as wayfinding committee. Uh, so I would I, think it would be clear. Just say it, Larry. <laughs> okay, I will amend no, my ahead. motion to say the wayfinding committee concept one for the Ortonville logo, which consists of all the rest of the stuff I said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that okay, Jenna? Are you able to read that back, please? Second. Is she still there? Yeah. Yes. Did you yes, specify the green okay. colors? Oh, in your motion. Yes. Can you repeat the three colors for me? Uh, yes, I said with the green and maroon colors and the gold old picture of the old mill. Hometown with a heart. <laughs> okay, so I have. Motion to approve the Wayfinding Committee Concept 1 for the Ortonville logo, which consists of the tagline, Hometown with Heart, the Ortonville established date in Michigan, with the colors green and maroon, and the gold picture of the old mill. Yes. Sounds, yep. <laughs> yeah. We have support. Sounds exactly what I said. Uh, I, I supported it. it. Do we have any questions, comments, or discussions? on the motion, the logo? Nope. Jenna, we're ready for a vote, please. Dylas? Yes. George? Yes. Green? Yes. Hayden? Yes. Nyvelt? Yes. Randazzo? Yes. Bryce? Yes. That motion carries 7-0, thank you. Thank you. Anything else with that, Melanie, at this time? Uh, no, I will have more for next meeting um, regarding phase two for council to consider. Thank you. I have a question about wayfinding. Are we going to talk about uh, the rep for the wayfinding committee? The, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, oh the I'm addition? The space. Oh, my gosh. My no, that's sorry. okay. Um, it, maybe yes. that's next meeting. Maybe I, I right. I was going to say. I that's was thinking way fine, and I was thinking that it was involved in that. But okay. Oh, yeah. We Sorry. still do have to add a planning commissioner to it, though. If that's what you were thinking, we yes. Okay. I don't know. 
All right. We can't talk about that tonight because it's not on the right. Agenda. That's yep. <laughs> right. no. correct, so and that's why is she item G, which is ordinance number seventy, and we were talking about a request to reevaluate or revise that ordinance. So um, we're looking at some guidance as to if that's something that we would like to entertain. Um, the last conversation we had was yes. And we need some sort of guidance as to what um, we would like to maybe consider, um, what our boundaries, our guidelines are as we draft some sort of ordinance. So that's where we're at. Yes, Kate. Um, I, I had a few things. I started really looking at, into this, looking online and uh, a number of different things. I mean, you can get 150 articles or more if you want, but, uh, Based on all of that, there's a, a, I had a number of concerns that we might be moving a little fast. Um, we need to, I believe, do our due diligence and, and if we are going to do it, do it correctly. We don't want to have, you know, after we get the ordinance in and then have a maraud of problems that we didn't even think about and then we have to handle those. Um, and I guess one of my big things is where would it where would it even fit in the village? We are one square mile, and all of the people around us—not Genesee, but uh, Clarkston and West Bloomfield and Waterford, uh, all of those places, Pontiac—they already have an ordinance. Um, but the big one was Wald Lake, and I, I used to work in Wald Lake, so I'm very familiar with the area. And it's way bigger than our one square mile, and the, the city manager currently, um, he was the uh, chief of police in Dade County, Florida. So he brought it, that side of it to it, help them uh, come up with their ordinance. And I made a copy of that, but um, I didn't send anything out. <clears throat> but also my concerns are that, you know, in, in this kind of ordinance, wouldn't the planning commission start this, I, I guess? That's my first thought. And then what does the DDA think or the, the uh, existing merchants or the police or the township, because they voted no, uh, the schools. And, and there's probably many people I'm, I'm not thinking of. And I think to do this properly and, and correctly and hopefully gather all the information, we might want to set a little committee up or something to, to look at this or whatever. But but again, I, I'm almost to the point where I would rather vote it down again because maybe they will come after us, but maybe they won't. Um, I just don't see any room for it here in the village. No matter where you put it, you're gonna have people hanging out. And as in other places, the kids, you know, will uh, they congregate there to try to get somebody else to buy for them. Uh, and, and I talked with um, Lieutenant Glover um, and, and he is adamantly against this because he already has enough problems apparently in the township where people are buying up big parcels of land and then they're trying to, you know, grow their, their uh, product that they want to sell. Uh, and I just think before we do anything, we, we need more information. What, I guess, I, I apologize, I'm a little confused. What's on the agenda tonight? Is it just the, the two definitions that we want to add? No, and that's why I'm going mm -hmm. to clarify. We already have yeah. an ordinance, so we're not talking about creating an ordinance. We're talking about evaluating the ballot the proposal. That we have I misspoke. And a possibility of changing that. Um, so I'm not quite sure when you're asking, like, where would it go? Where would what go? Because our ordinance is, there's nothing. So I, I want to just be sure we're, I think we're jumping the gun here. Um, are, are we happy with our ordinance? Do we want to change our ordinance? What would we look at changing in our ordinance? Are we going to entertain the idea of the petition request. I mean, so we've got a lot going on to, to dialogue. Mm -hmm. um, I guess, I apologize, I missed last meeting. What, where, where were we at with the lawyer in that? As far as what he, re what he recommended about us doing and... The recommendation was to review the ordinance, which is where we're at. Mm -hmm. um, as you know, uh, there was a petition request of, of any, any different ordinance, um, completely opposite of our ordinance. And so therefore that gives it, it back to us to decide what our next steps are. Are we going to stand behind the ordinance that we have? Are we going to look at evaluating our ordinance in any way, shape or form? 
are we going to, um, you know, go ahead and, and let them repetition? It's, it's whatever our next steps choose to be. So at the last two meetings ago, we decided to possibly reevaluate our ordinance. Mm. They decide to do nothing. We, we have to evaluate that. We did, but I guess I, I felt, think, oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Go ahead. I've already spoken. Go ahead. Oh, oh that, that's okay. Um, so we could keep our, where we prohibit um, any marijuana establishments, we could keep that um, if we wanted to as an option and not have ramifications. I, I thought the whole reason we were hurrying up and doing this was, was because we were going to have ramifications and it was going to be on a May 4th, you know, um, election and. Correct. They did not make the wording in time because we stopped it. Right. Um, that would, uh, you're right. It would then go from, it was not made onto the March ballot. You're, I apologize. It would be possible to be on the May ballot. They would have to repetition. And they would again possibly be able to create the ordinance that they would like to have on the petition and the people would vote. So there would be zero say for us as to what our ordinance would be. Okay, but we, other areas are prohibiting it, like we have. I mean, Goodrich, Brandon Township. Brandon. And I sent some of those out, just what right. I could find and what time I had. So and that's um, why they're targeting Oakland County. Oakland County prohibits it as a whole. Very it is, I believe, 80% no. Um, so therefore, that's why these mm -hmm. businesses chose to get a lawyer in, in Market Oakland County to try to find places where their facilities will fit. I know Ferndale, Wald Lake, and Pontiac. I don't know what the fourth one is, but I think you're right. That it's probably only four. Um, Lake um, Orion. Oh, that's I mean, that's the four then. Yeah, there's yeah. multiple. Royal Oak, Lawson, all, a lot of places do. Um, Southfield's huge. Um, I, it, like I said, but it's... It, that was the goal. And, and as we saw the attorney's opinion is we should make the decision versus somebody making the decision for us, not in our community. We've agreed to that. That's as far as we've gotten. Okay. So, so if we made a motion to keep our current um, ordinance, which is to prohibit, we could do that as an option. Correct. And then we would then send that information <laughs> on to them um, they're, they're waiting for our response. Their attorney has contacted us and they're waiting for responses to what we're going to do. Oh yeah, and, and I, tell them what we did. Can I get the, um, I've asked for the petition the, because I know it was um, uh, validated by the township um, and it should have been in our packets. So I had asked for it again. I emailed everybody that information in the, in, the petition. In the, we yeah. never got the petition. No, we're not going to get the petition. That's not our information. We can't have what people are voting and who's voting and what they choose to sign. That's not for us. That's not public information. Well, well, yes, petitions? well we, we just what was the verbiage on it? No, I mean, just the wording of the petition. The but I think we oh, got you mean that for the for the um, ballot language for this group? No, this group that had signed petitions, they went door to door. We don't even know what they were saying or asking people. Correct. They, I can so, give you the ballot language, but I cannot tell you what, what people signed and what they agreed to, but I can give you the ballot language. Absolutely. So we're not allowed to have who signed the nope. petition for well, We don't really need that though, Mel. It's, I mean, we don't get to- oh, see well, what No, no, actually, I think that care. is a very important part. You should know what constituents want this, Kay. I mean, you're representing your constituents. Then so, you can ask them, but you cannot. You cannot find out how yeah. somebody voted on anything. That's that's a Nothing federal law. Nothing voted. Sign the petition and okay. not voted. So Just, again, that's not our information. But you are more than welcome to have the the language of the ballot language. Absolutely, that is something that was given to us for our attorney to review. Okay. Right. Well, I can. I'll I have that. The thing then. Um, I thought I had it. Yeah. Well, boy, and I do not have the language. I do not believe of how that would go. Can we get that again? <clears throat> Absolutely. I'll Thank resend you. out that email. Or um, we can, can, um, or you can make a motion if you want to. Right. Larry's, sorry. I'm waiting patiently. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry, I was writing. Go ahead. I'm sorry, I'm reading. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, from my perspective, we know that there's a ballot circulated and we stopped the proposed language because we said, it wasn't adequate. Um, I don't know. 
Uh, Tanya just mentioned something about their in discussion with our attorney. I don't know what those discussions are because that's the first I heard that. They're not in discussion with our attorney. Their attorney responded to our, our letter that we had sent to them. Okay. And what and did they're waiting their attorneys, on us. What are they waiting on us for? What did our letter say? Yeah. They don't agree exactly what we talked about in the meeting, that, that these are our three concerns, which is what our attorney said, which we agreed with. And the mm -hmm. fact that we would like to review the petition, that we would like to make the decisions for our community and we feel what's the best to make for you know our ordinance for our community. And so what are they waiting on for us? To well, our ordinance? whether they're going to pursue anything further. Yeah. They don't agree with us. Obviously, they feel it's fully in the right, so... Yeah, because, you know, looking at the state law, it does say that the they can petition for the number, but it says nothing else about any other types of regulation or zoning restrictions or anything else that is part of the ordinance that they can petition for, just the number of establishments. So um, I think we're on good ground with that. I think the main question for me is, is there a majority of the council members here who would want to go forward and allow these or not because if the majority of council is um, not in favor of allowing these establishments then I think that our only option is to say we're going to stay with our current ordinance and we leave it up if the people want to vote on this then they can vote on it and pass it through if they want. Um, yes. That's, I, I think, that our only thing, because I don't see, I don't see it makes sense wasting a lot of our time doing a lot of research and drafting an ordinance if right. we're not going to vote right. it through anyways. I, right. That's why I sent all that stuff today. I want to kind of be done with this. If, if I could add a couple more things that are in my investigation, uh, I, in Colorado, and they allow almost everything there now, but they're, what they found, and I know we're not Colorado, but it could still apply here. Their biggest issue is that the drug cartels are coming in as legit business people mm -hmm. and then selling their stuff. So, and it's a very big problem out there. You know, I, mm -hmm. it's not like we don't have drugs in our community because we know that we do. We're, we're not just, you know, I know we're talking about marijuana, but also when you, you do that, I'm not sure that you can opt out of, and maybe you can, but there's, there's the growing of it. There's the storing of it. There mm -hmm. is the buying of it. And there is the, um, transportation of it and and from everything i read there's a shortage on pot yes uh, these are crazy conversations but anyways um there's a shortage so you know it, like if i go to beaky's to buy you know bread and they don't have the kind i want i'm going to go to clarkston to kroger mm -hmm. and that's the thing same thing that's going to happen here we're going to have mm -hmm. we we could potentially have a number of people using our roads hanging out and mm -hmm. it, you know it yeah. I have concerns. I have concerns about our infrastructure yeah. as well as our walkable community, which has always been a big, big thing to me. And, you know, I see people riding their bikes and walking their dogs and just walking all the time. And those are my concerns. And I would rather, I mean, at this point, my, my option would be rather than spend any more time, I would like to make a motion that we keep mm -hmm. our original ordinance. Mm -hmm. Support. All right, we have a motion by Trustee Green, supported by Trustee Nyvelt. Any questions, comments, discussions? Yeah, I got oh. one. Go ahead. Um, yeah, we'll keep the, the, the original uh, ordinance, but the only thing we would need to, the only reason we would need to do anything is if we can prevent, if there's anything that we can do to prevent them from forcing us to have to pay for an election. I guess that was my Mm -mm. Either so there's way, nothing we can, the there's nothing we can do. Right to, the people have a right to an election, and if their voices aren't being heard and they want an election, they have that right. We right. have to hold that. So if there's nothing that we can do to prevent that, then there's nothing we can do. We already have an ordinance. Right. And we'll address, you know, if, if that goes through and that gets whatever, then, then we'll address those things at, the, at that time. Mm -hmm. right. Correct. And that's the, the same boat that all the other... Brandon Township, Goodrich, all the ones that are prohibiting it now, and that's their ordinance, you know, they all can be approached in the same manner, too. Um, so, yeah, I, um, I I would rather the people, I know that Michigan passed um, that they wanted recreational, 
mm-hmm. marijuana to be able to be at home and be able to do that. I understand that, but they did not, the people of the, the village of Ortonville did not pass something to say, yeah, they want a dispensary downtown and in the village. Style. You know, that, that never not in came. my backyard type yeah. thing. Um, and the one thing, Kay, when you were talking about and with the one article I sent out, um, they were having so much issues with traffic lined up um, waiting for the dispensaries to become open that it became an issue with parking and traffic. And mm-hmm. it's like, where would where would the line go downtown? I don't know. Where would the cars be? Where? Yeah. And that was another thing in Wald Lake. They, they said that... Um, uh, they were having no business downtown and it's the, the grower and the you know processor that's doing the talking. And he mm-hmm. says, we bring in a thousand to 1200 people a day. Well, mm-hmm. if we got anything, even half that much, that would just be a lot. Yeah. Uh, trusting hey, Pat, had just to... Pat had a question before Keith. Oh. Did. Pat, did you well, have a I'm question? A, I'm, I'm ready to vote. Okay, I was I'm, just gonna... I'm Pardon? I was just going to address what I'm Keith sorry, I asked. can't hear Pat. Pat, what did you say? I didn't hear him. No, I was just saying in that, Tanya, that I would be ready to vote on the proposed motion. That's all. I, That's I was just going to address what Keith had raised, which is if there's any way to stop it. The only way we can stop the election is if we passed an ordinance that allowed the establishments, because that's what they are asking for. And that's our, that's what our motion here is. If, if we don't plan to pass an ordinance that will allow them, then we can't stop the election. That's the only thing we could do that could stop it potentially. Mm-hmm. And, and obviously the other thing we could do is if it is not a properly organized election as the first round wasn't, um, the ballot mm-hmm. language was not correct. So we could have something along that lines and we could request a stay and we could go into court over it as well. We could officially stop an election that way. Um, if, if we were felt we were in the right for that. So I can't say nothing will, but, you know, legally, obviously we have a right to have people, you know, to have the say. So um, I can tell you my personal concern is having somebody else write an ordinance for us and we have no say in what it is. Um, having the, basically the businesses themselves are the ones behind this. And so they're going to write an ordinance for exactly what's going to benefit them in our community. Um, so if they choose to do that, you right? Mean, well, well they've already the shown other areas that. worried about that. Why are we the only ones? They are worried about that. The ones that have been petitioned are worried about that. So, so what I feel is it doesn't matter necessarily what my opinion is. What matters is how we can best protect our community. Um, so I guess the next steps is if we say hypothetically, yes, we're going to stay where we're at. We're comfortable with the way we're at. Hypothetically, they say, great, we are going to go ahead and send our petition ordinance through and the people are going to vote. Great. What happens if the people vote this petition of the, you know, the ordinance in? That, that's well, where my yeah. own I, I'm, I'm willing to take a gamble on the people voting that they probably don't want it in this one square mile. I, I tend to agree. Yeah. And why would, I mean, I guess I'm wondering, why would they pick a little place like, you know, one square mile? because they wanna do big things. I mean, they make a lot of money from this. They targeted many areas and especially the smaller areas that don't necessarily have the money nor the time nor the knowledge to fight. Right. So I there see. were other communities okay. that didn't even contact their attorney and they just said, oh, okay, we have no choice and here we go. Um, mm. You know, And there are others that will obviously, you know, they've been in battle with for two years. So it, yeah. it just depends on you know, wh- how we choose, so. I, gu- I guess I, I would rather the, citizens uh if if there is a petition and it's on the ballot i would rather the citizens of the village vote on it they vote yes fine and we'll do we have to deal with it but i don't want it to be us i just think it it just doesn't even make sense to have something like that in the one square mile right and i also think that we certainly can make every effort to educate our community prior Absolutely. to the vote too, so that they are fully informed about exactly what the ordinance would do if it passes so that they can be make a well-informed decision if it comes to a vote. Yes, I agree. Yes, There's I, a very fine line what we can do for that when it comes to that. We've kind of had that discussion at the, at the attorney level, the township level and their attorney level, um, how we can inform or, you know, what is allowed for us to personally do 
We Perfect. can certainly make the full well, language of the actual ordinance available to everybody. And we can right. certainly put links to information from right. resources like MML on our website and make those available to the public too for further research. Right. Right. Yeah, and I think that's something we we address if that ever happens. Yep. Again, that is that is part of the reason I, I wanted the full packet with the petitioners, um, because if, you know, some of our constituents obviously want this, it was supposed to be Village of uh, Ortonville residents. So, um, and it's nice to know what, you know, what their thoughts were. So I don't understand why we're not allowed to see it, but um, I just wanted to put that on record that I had asked for that several times, so. Because we live in the United States of America and we have privacy to what we decide. And what but we I do. can FOIA it tomorrow. You so. can, but you won't get that information. It is not FOIAble information. We had to turn that over and it is done. We don't have that information. So any other questions or comments? Um, I know we have a motion on the table. Any other, are we good to vote? Are we ready? We read the motion back. Absolutely. Jenna, please. Our original marijuana motion or ordinance. Is that correct, Melanie? Um, Kay made the motion. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Other that way around. Correct. That we would not allow it. Whatever that said originally. To keep with our original one. To, yep. Yep. Yeah. to maintain our original one. Yeah. I think yes. that's. Yep. And Melanie, you're good with that too. Uh, correct. Okay. Any other questions or comments before we vote? All right, Jenna, we're ready, please. George? Yes. Green? Yes. Hayden? Yes. Nivo? Yes. Randazzo? Yes. Silas? Yes. Bryce? Yes. And that motion carries 7-0. Thank you very much. And last but not least, we are looking for an motion of adjournment. I'll make a motion to adjourn the meeting this evening. <laughs> Green support. All right, Jenna, can we have a vote, please? Green? Yes. Hayden? Yes. Nivelt? Yes. Randazzo? Yes. Dylas? Yes. George? Yes. Price? Yes. And that motion carries at 7-0. And we are adjourning. It's 9 <coughs> p.m. Thank you very much, everyone.